Hi guys, it's Kelly and you're watching That Smells Divine. If you're new to my channel, I am a fragrance addict and I push out videos every Monday and Thursday to review fragrances, niche, designer, indie, um, popular fragrances, lesser known fragrances. If this is up your alley, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell to receive notifications of future videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello! How are you? I love all of you. I'm so freaking excited about all the conversations that I'm having in the comments, in the DMs. I'm so thrilled that you're here with me. Before we dive into today's video, I just want to acknowledge that once again, we have a completely different setup. Um, I'm actually in my kitchen slash dining area um, filming here for the very first time. And I know that the angle is a little weird, but we're just going to roll with it. One day I will have my own like fancy filming studio with like an actual camera, not my iPhone, <laughs> with an actual tripod and an actual ring light, um, which I actually have a tripod and a ring light, I just don't know where they are, so that's what we're doing. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than usual. Usually I review fragrances, but today I wanna talk to you about a little impromptu kind of shopping expedition that I went on yesterday. So yeah, so yesterday I was just feeling like I was in some serious need of some retail therapy and I had been so busy for the past like week and a half, just life being crazy, working all the time, just stuff, there was so much stuff. Um, and actually one of you had mentioned that uh, Yas Yasmin, Jasmine Yucatan was being sold at TJ Maxx. And spoiler alert, I didn't get there fast enough, I'll tell you about my TJ Maxx experience, but um, yeah, I put it off until yesterday. Yesterday I was just like feeling super stressed out. I was like, I need to go just have some retail therapy. Now that is not something that I do often. I'm very um, conservative around spending my money with like shopping, which you like sounds surprising, right? Because I have so many like perfume bottles and decants and samples. I will spend tons of money ordering perfume online. I'll spend tons of money on wine, on going out to eat, on traveling. On personal development like I'll spend thousands of dollars to take courses to better myself and better my online business that I have that has nothing to do with this channel totally different thing um, but I have a really difficult time spending money on like clothes or going to like Sephora like it's just a thing right I don't know why um, and I really want to change that because I feel like if I start to loosen up a little bit around allowing myself to do that I'm just gonna ex I'm gonna discover more fragrances I'm gonna discover more brands um, all of that so yeah, so yesterday I was like, you know what, I need some retail therapy. Um, I heard that Jasmine Yucatan was at TJ Maxx. I'm just gonna go over there and see if it's still there. I was really excited. I got there, the fragrance shelf was like empty at TJ Maxx, like empty. I was like, like I even went over to a store associate and I was like, is there another perfume section? She was like, no, that's it. I was like, okay. There was maybe five bottles of perfume on the entire shelf. Like it looked like it had just been completely picked through. However, the section um, with like the skincare and the body care and all that was like literally like overflowing with products. So I was like, all right, while I'm here, um, I might as well, you know, take a look at that stuff. I did see a couple of perfumes at TJ Maxx that sort of, that I was sort of interested in. Um, one of them being Escada Miami Blossom, um, but I didn't really know anything about it. Uh, also, there was another one I saw there and I'm forgetting. Oh, it was the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. Uh, which I feel like I keep hearing about, but I just have a feeling that it's not going to be up my alley. Um, and the Escada one I was interested in because when I was in high school, I wore an Escada perfume and I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a super punchy, fruity, uh, like juicy fragrance that I loved. And so I considered just purchasing those two and then I was like, you know what, I'm not like 100%, so I'm just going to browse the skincare and body care aisle, which I did. So I found three things at TJ Maxx that I want to share with you. So the very first thing, um, wait, did I find three things? Yes, three things. I can't remember actually where, yeah, I got this at TJ Maxx. So this is the um, Amalfi Tile Lemon Sage Hand Soap. And I bought this for $5 and I bought it because A, I like the smell, B, we need hand soap in our kitchen right now, <laughs> and C, I am a huge fan of Italy and the Amalfi Coast. I've talked about this a couple times on my channel, but I've been to the Amalfi Coast three times. It's one of my favorite places, and I just totally vibe with the whole Amalfi thing. And this 
print just brings me back. So yeah, it's like a really nice refreshing lemon sage. Um, yeah, and it just, it, the smell just reminds me of Italy. I'm having a little problem where I can't get the top like totally, neither can Ian. We were trying to do it last night. We can't go out. So that, it's going to take a little bit more elbow grease. Um, but that's that. And then I also got, um, so Ian takes Epsom salt baths every single night. He's a contractor. He works outside in the hot Texas sun every day. He works his ass off. I'm so proud of him. He's such a hard worker. And when he gets home at night, he's exhausted. And he also is sober. He quit drinking seven and a half years ago. And which again, so proud of him. And like when he quit drinking, he kind of started taking baths as like his nightly routine instead of like drinking beer. So yeah, and he gets super into the Epsom salts and the essential oils and all that. So I found this um, Dr. Salt's wellness solution also at TJ Maxx for $7 with eucalyptus and ginger. And this looks cool because like it says on the thing, supports an active lifestyle, suitable for use after a strenuous day, invigorates mind and body, comforts and soothes the senses. And I just felt like this would be a really good thing for him. He did use it last night um, and he said he loved it. So yeah, it smells good. It smells like, like very um, therapeutic. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't smell like a spa. It smells like it's like medicinal almost. So that was that. And then I also got for $6, I got this Nivea um, Orange Blossom and Avocado Skin Cream, which I tried this morning. And I was kind of bummed because like it smells pretty heavy on the orange blossom when you smell it. Um, but then when I put it on, like it was actually really moisturizing, but the orange blossom scent just kind of like disappeared, which is fine. I think this will be a great, um, pretty much like almost unscented uh, lotion cream to wear underneath um, fragrances for those of my fragrances that don't have strong lasting power so I'm excited about this purchase then I went over to Ross because I was like okay I need to see if they have any perfumes because I hadn't gotten my perfume fix yet and I was like hankering for it so I got over there they had way more perfumes there um, they had a couple that I considered picking up so they had Jessica Simpson fancy they had um, Ariana Grande Ari. They had Ariana Grande Thank You Next. They had Michael Kors um, Sexy Amber, Michael Kors Glam Jasmine, and I feel like there's one more that I looked at. Mm, I can't remember, but those were the ones I was like debating. So I ended up grabbing the Ariana Grande Thank You Next, um, and I read online that I've never, never smelled this until last night, until I got home. Um, but I read online that people said this smells like pickles, and I'm not getting that, so thank God. Um, but it comes in this cute little bottle, and this thing comes out too, which I think is just like super cute. Nice little top there. And yeah, it just smells, It it's funny, I like don't smell the pickles, but I, to me it smells like the inner lining of a swimming pool in the summertime like it has this like pink if like pink lemonade mixed with the lining of a of a swimming like an above ground swimming pool um this is what it smells like then i also really smell the pear and the vanilla it also kind of reminds me of this bubble bath that my mom used to use when i was a little kid um it came in like a pink container that's all i really remember about it um, it wasn't the Mr. Bubbles one. I grew up in the 80s, so it wasn't Mr. Bubbles. I can't remember what it was. It was probably like some like Disney princess thing. <laughs> and it smells kind of just like that, uh, but better. I really like this actually. Like I was very pleasantly surprised. It was a very successful blind buy. Um, yeah, the lasting power is great. It's nice and soft and feminine and like easy wearing. You could wear this, you could wear this anywhere. So I'm really, really happy about this purchase. Okay, so then I was about to go home because it was like, you know, 5.36 and for those of you that live in Austin or any major city for that part, you realize that the traffic around that time is an absolute nightmare. So I was trying to like beat the traffic, it wasn't gonna happen. Um, and then Ian called and he was like, hey, I'm, I really want a turkey and cheese sandwich. And I was like, cool, I'm right next to Schlotzky's, I'll just grab one for you. So I'm like in the drive-thru at Schlotzky's and I was like, oh, there's Bath and Body Works right over there and I haven't been. I probably hadn't been to Bath and Body Works in like six months, which is huge. Cause I took like an eight year hiatus from Bath and Body Works. Um, 
because there was a time in my life, this is like a side tangent and I should probably make another video about this, but I went through this phase where I literally did not use any um, synthetic anything on my skin and my makeup or anything like that. And I just miss my guilty pleasure. Like it's, that's all it is. Like I'm totally not being in integrity with my like clean, healthy lifestyle that I promote and that I like really want to be a part of. But at the end of the day, like I just want my Bath and Body Works, I want my fragrances, and I want my wine. That's it. Like the rest of it I can leave, I can eat super healthy, I can work out, I can meditate, I can do all the things, like I can get all the clean laundry detergent and clean household cleaners, which I do, but then I just, I want my guilty pleasures. So anyways, I've been back in the Bath and Body Works game for the past like year and a half. And so I pulled up, lo and behold, they're still running their semi-annual sale. And I am like pretty much out of body lotions to layer with. I have a lot for like winter, fall time, but I don't really have, I have like two for spring and summer. And I really like to layer my fragrances with body lotions, with scented body lotions, because fragrances don't really, um, <laughs> fragrances don't really last on me that long because my skin is very dry. I'm just like a naturally dehydrated person, right? Plus like I'm outside all the time, Texas heat, not drinking enough water, you know, being a wine lover, like I'm just dehydrated. So I'm really selling myself on this video as being like a super healthy human being, aren't I? <laughs> Anyways, so I went in, I was like very conscious that I wanted to be in and out and I ended up getting, let's see, put my bag down here. I ended up buying seven, seven. I have a habit of like making hand signals like I noticed I was re-watching one of my videos from last week and I noticed I was like I get one decant per subscription and I was like what is this this is two this isn't one this is two so I got seven body lotions in like I was in and out of there in like five minutes flat so I want to go through them with you quickly and just talk about each one that I got so this is so exciting okay the very first one that I'm sharing with you today and I think I got each of these for five dollars which is insane like they were so discounted it was crazy uh, but they're all like the current scents so this is the strawberry soda cream I always get all the creams just I like cream over lotion so um, the strawberry soda literally smells exactly like a strawberry like they could not have gotten it more like nailed it it's it's literally like like, like you're smelling the top of a ripe strawberry Mm, so good yum I cannot wait I kind of want to wear this um, like without fragrance or layer it with um, like a kind of like musky not really there fragrance uh, like my um, Rosie by Rosie I would wear this with that or Glossier's you I would do or DS and Durga I don't know what because it would just amplify amplify that scent um, or I haven't smelled Burberry her yet but I am planning on it very soon and I'm guessing that that would it would be a good layer with this as well okay for the second one we have fairy tale which this actually ended up being one of my favorites um, this has notes of pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber so like totally up my alley um, yeah I was really surprised by how like sometimes you go to Bath and Body Works and you're like, okay, I've smelled this a million times before, but like this was, this stood out for me. It smells very different from anything that I've personally smelled from Bath and Body Works. It's reminding me of something. It's kind okay. It kind of smells like, okay, so I used to hang out with this guy. I was friends with his girlfriend. He was in my class in high school. His name is Craig. I'm not going to share his last name. Um, and we would like party super hard together, like the whole group of us. And he lived in a funeral home growing up. His parents owned a funeral home. And we would go and like hang out in his room. And he wore Liz Claiborne Sport. This was in like 1997, 98. Um, and so his whole room always smelled like Liz Claiborne Sport. And this kind of smells like that. Very similar, which also I mentioned in a recent video that Atelier's Orange Sanguine kind of reminds me of Liz Claiborne's sport in like a really weird way. Um, so yeah, I think that I would like to layer this with Orange Sanguine. But I think really anything with Orange Blossom 
I'll layer with this because it does have a like a very prominent orange blossom note. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. All right, our third lotion is called Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. I love these like summery, like punchy fruit cocktail scents. So this one has notes of sun-kissed guava, fresh orange, and seaside jasmine. Yum. So let's see. This video is making me hungry. Mm. This is just like a sparkling cocktail. It's just like a juicy guava cocktail. It's, yeah, it's delicious. It smells like sunshine and bathing suits and like having the day off in the summertime. <laughs> um, I don't know what I would layer this with. Um, if I had Ellis Brooklyn West, I would layer it with this. I do not anymore. I used to. Um, I, ooh, I am going to layer my Guerlain Passiflora, um, Agua Allegoria Passiflora with this 100%. That is what I'm going to do because yum. Yeah. Yum. Okay, next one we have Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. This one has notes of passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower, which this just smells like, it's gonna smell like Hawaii. I'm really excited about this one. Mmm, yum, oh my god. Yeah, this might be my favorite. It's so yummy. It literally smells like you're in Hawaii. Oh, if I had Kajal Lamar, I would layer it with this. Um, I would definitely layer this with mango skin. Um, I don't really have like a whole lot of tropical fragrances, unfortunately. I would like to have more. This also would layer really nicely with the Guerlain's Passiflora that I just talked about. Um, you could also try it with Ellis Brooklyn West, maybe. Um, yeah, this is this is really 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 nice. I really like it. I feel like there's something else that I would layer this. Oh, I just got Cavort. I feel like Cavort might layer with this for a uh, fragrance du bois. I just got a sample. I think that this might layer well with that. Mm, I'm excited to just wear this on its own when I'm like out running errands, when I'm at the pool, when I'm at a barbecue, swimming hole. Like this, this just smells like summer. Mm, so good. Okay, next we've got Beach Night. And this has fragrance notes of toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. Now let me tell you about the thought process that went through my head when I smelled this last night. Okay, so I immediately open it and I get like this toasted marshmallow s'mores smell, which I didn't read the notes before I smelled it last night. It literally, it smells like s'mores it's like the mixture of the smell of s'mores and like suntanned skin at the end of the day. So I realized, you guys that have been watching my channel know how much I love Floriental's, um, or sorry, Dossier's Floriental Marsh Marshmallow. Like, I'm obsessed. It's now called Floral Marshmallow. Um, and I've been like in my head thinking that like I could only wear that in cold weather. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a, it could maybe be a little cloying in the summertime, especially when it's like, 110 degrees out because that's what we're that's what we're doing right now. So um, Yeah, I just had it in my head that I couldn't wear floral marshmallow right now And then when I smelled this last night, I was like wait a minute like I can totally wear I might want to like wait until it's down into like the 90s not the hundreds But it just dawned on me that I can totally pull off a marshmallow fragrance in the summer and especially if I layer it with this because it this definitely has like that salty like beachy vibe so yeah, I can probably get a little bit of like a suntan lotion scent going if I combine the two, um, but leaning more marshmallow than like coconut or vanilla. So I'm really, really excited to try out that pairing. Okay, next we've got pink pineapple sunrise. So I ended up getting two pineapple, uh, but I just, I love pineapple. This one has notes of uh, sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. And this is delicious. This is just way more pineapple. Like this smells like straight pineapple rings that have been like sitting in a like uh, Tupperware, you know, so there's like they're just marinating in their own juice. Um, yeah, that's definitely what that smells like. 
it's more tart than the like Bahama this one Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower is like more sweet this is more tart um so yeah this smells really 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 good I could actually see layering this with like a vanilla scent just to kind of cut that tartness um that could be good I don't know I'm gonna play around with this one and see what I can layer it with but I'm excited to just wear this on its own as well Okay, and last but not least, we have the Saltwater Breeze, which I am super excited about. I'm going to tell you why. Um, this one has fragrance notes of fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. Now, I got super excited when I smelled this because I immediately knew what I was going to layer it with. Mm, it's, this smells really good. It's like fresh and crisp, just out of the shower, clean, um, kind of salty, at, like after a day at the beach you're just gonna like put on some sweatpants and like settle in with a Netflix series mm, yeah it's really pretty this I'm so excited about because literally I smelled it and I was like I'm gonna pair this I immediately thought I'm gonna pair this with my Jill Sander Jill Sander uh, Sun Pop Coral I always have a hard time with that name <laughs> um, because that's like kind of a salty freesia fragrance that smells very similar to Lush's Big Shampoo, which I did not make that connection. That connection I saw someone else make, um, Nostalgic, if you know her channel. She made that connection, so I immediately ordered it because I, I'm obsessed with the smell of Big. And it's like not 100%, but I would say it's like a 90% match, maybe 85%, 90% match. But I love it. It has that like fresh, like freesia kind of... Um, like salty day at the beach kind of oceany feel and this as soon as I smelled it I was like yep that's gonna pair so perfectly like it's just such a pretty clean like floral sweet it's just really pretty it's really pretty so I'm so excited about this that is it for today you guys that is probably the last video of this sort that you'll see me do for a long time. I, I'll i generally do like two Bath & Body Works sprees per year. I'll get like loaded up on fall winter scents and then I'll get loaded up on spring summer. I'm a little late for spring summer, like I said. Um, I've just been like rocking the unscented body lotion lately. And yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, I've got some really cool videos coming out for you guys shortly. Um, I'm gonna do some reviews of some full bottles that I have some decants, um, what else? Oh, I'm also gonna be talking about the solution I found for De Los Santos for those of you that tried the fragrance and love it but hate the literal non-existent longevity, like it literally disappears in five seconds. Um, for those of you guys that are also struggling with that issue, I came up with somewhat of a solution, so I'm gonna be sharing that in a future video. Also, some of you guys have made some requests for fragrances that you would like me to review, and I'm in the process of getting my hands on those fragrances so I can do those reviews as well. I'm super excited, you guys, for everything that I am discovering and exploring on this journey with this channel. I could not be more stoked on everything. This is just like, literally, I could do this all day, every day, and like, yeah, just be so happy. So. Um, yeah, and then some of you guys that also have other channels have been really supporting me in how to grow my channel, how to like create relationships with brands and all of that. And I'm just so incredibly grateful for all of your support, um, all of your passion for fragrances, and all of the connection that's been coming from these videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't already, please show the love. You can like this video. You can comment below. Let me know, like, have you tried any of these Bath & Body Works scents? Have you tried Thank You Next? Do you think it smells like pickles? <laughs> um, have you been able to get your hands on Jasmine Yucatan? If you were one of the ones that was equally as excited about that with me, um, I'm probably just gonna end up paying full price for it at some point down the road. But yeah, let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, should I have reviewed this all natural insect repellent? Probably not. Although it smells really good. <sighs> Lemongrass and vanilla is like the best combo. <laughs> okay, like you feel like you're just inhaling the breeze coming off of the, the sea. I forget what it, which sea it is. Cut that part out. <laughs>